let me share my screen i just confirm my screen is visible or not yes yes uh, so today's uh, topic is that uh, whatever we are going to present that is vi test right so is anyone has any idea on vi test yeah yes One minute yes, from the beginning. Yeah. So you can see that it's a build tool, right? Means you are if you are using React, Angular, View, any framework, any application. So there was one build tool is there. And in that build tool, we can create our testing environment and also we can create our project environment in that way. So it should be very faster, and you can see that is the uh, is a build tool that allows for faster server start and updates. Then so in React earlier, uh, if you are working in the React, so any changes we have done, nah? so you have to relaunch, reload the application, and then the value are getting updated. But in the VI test, whenever we create the project, whenever we create the demo. So in that time, there are no need to create any hot reloading. I mean, the hot reloading process also be there. So we're going to create and going to run the code. And if any editing, any changes, if we done, it automatically replicated in the browser. So you can see this is that how the architecture, right? How the VI test architecture would work. Like is there some entry point? There are some kind of modules. Okay, this can be component module. This can be bundler. This can be any component. So everything is nested upon one each other, right? One route, and from the route there is three modules, and everything is a container based. So once bundled, and then we can output is ready in my server. That means in uh, it's kind of a next js so vi test is a on top of nextjs reactjs angular this is not dependent on the angular only or not dependent on the react we can create our application on top of any any uh, any one framework okay so it can support what the features uh, we can say that uh, is um, component we can test our view react and angular framework and it has support to typescript and also the jsx support also be there when we install this in ecosystem the environment everything should getting ready at my hand okay we need to install different different things like the typescript we install and jsx install no if we create the environment the ecosystem so everything getting installed properly and also you can see that a uh, multi-threading workers also be there right means service workers so in the react application is a single threaded right only one type of application but if we communicate with that other process like api call is any other threads are happening so multi-threading workers possibilities that can support and we also the snapshot testing like snapshot based testing it's also preferred and uh, there are some kinds of api like this api we are going to implement over there so api testing filtering concurrent uh, test case so everything we can use this is a unit testing framework and also that we can deploy the code uh, when the bundle the server and automatically it will deploy in the server so everything is some kind of process and we just add our um, comments so it can easily install and it can easily build the production ready server so these steps i will uh, discuss so it's the top of the front end tooling you can call the front end tooling 
so everything comes under like the api calling security services everything should come under the front end tooling and inside the front end tooling vi2 is recently launched so there are some kind of pros and cons also be there but it is a faster development tool i can say you can say that this is the dev server the same thing like http request we are sending and then routes are happening in the module so everything build process one by one it will take as a nested routing and also that it will take this thing is a multi threading workers and the entry point and we can go the dynamic import and scope splitting and this server is working okay so this is that the features the faster server starts what well, any changes we have done it will automatically reflect in the browser or automatically reflects in the console like we have update the web pack we have roll up and parts uh, roll up mechanism performance if any performance is not working it has different ui also so we can see the outputs in that different launching ui so we can understand how many test case we have run how many test case we have added so everything comes under this they are the features the faster server starts we can say the faster update that i will tell the hot module replacement in my previous react session i show you we have to install the hmr in different way the separate way we have installed and then we are going to build the process and then hot module re processing should come but in the re in this environment if we install in this environment everything is handy we just add plugin we just add the some kind of ports comments and automatically page update process automatically it's just we can just add anything we can just our server so it will show okay and you can that thing the features of bit is that i told you earlier snapshot testing the design with just compatible api so you can write just test case also same same testing in the just whatever we can write in that ecosystem it everything is provided so it's called a unit testing framework any questions on that no question so uh, have, have you any idea or started this vi testing previously no no right. idea no, okay. no. Oh, this is new right so it's implemented in your project right so this uh, in the react you are currently working in the react project right you all of our react development right? uh, yes. yes 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 and the react you can add the vi testing okay so just now i am going to add and install this process first So it has two process means we can install normal javascript based project and when the demo is progress we can show how to add in the react side also how can i update so first command npm create and this is white it will take some time to update the process internally and it will show so this is the first command you have to add npm create byte this command okay then it will ask the project name right i can use custom link project this name or this name should be anything as per any name you can take now you can see there are couple of framework selection is showing use the arrow key right if you down arrow or up arrow key so first i will go with the vanilla this is the inbuilt javascript process not using any reactor thing okay in the vanilla framework inside the vanilla framework two process javascript and typescript 
to go in the type script part. Now, next process it will told me that CD custom tooling project. So you can go and see this folder is already created, right? CD custom tooling. Then you can add CD custom tooling. Okay. And here you have to add the dependencies. I will go into CMD COD code. So these are the dependencies. I have to add like TypeScript and Byte. These two things I have to add. npm install Now, next command npm run dev. So, where this command is showing dev, npm run dev, it will run the byte server. npm run dev, okay? npm run and dev. This will add. You can see automatically one porter, porter showing, right? Localhost 5174. So, localhost. 5174 LAT. You can see the environment is ready. Byte plus TypeScript. So, on top of byte uh, TypeScript, the byte and TypeScript, this is the UI is coming. Okay. This step. Now, we go there. And you can see a couple of script, dev, build, and preview, right? Now, byte is not installed. We have to add the byte test. For that one, just process. You have to run npm install minus d byte test. Okay. So there, you can see the Y test, these dependency module are coming, right? Now, if you run, you have to add test. And Y test. In the src folder you can see the one environment.ts file is created along with the package.json i have to update one comment vi test so now i'm going to run what command I will add? This should be npm run test unit. npm run test unit. Run it.
is automatically understand that J's DOM, this dependency are missing. So recommended you have to install. Please why? Okay. Yes. Next time again, I will run npm run test unit. What happened? It will swing some error because our test case not completing. So recommended that you have to add this test case or these files, right? So first go there and create one test case. So test them basic. I just add one normal test speed dot ts. You have to import something from di test. What should be something that is the describe? Describe describe me. You have to told uh, to the test case that name the label describe you have to describe what you are going to test right it and assert test what expect all imports declaration are unused is not an error it's showing that Imports are declared but not using. First, I test creation. Right. I have to define it. What I'll define any name, right? I just want to add this thing. This is a describe method. Again, we will run. And what the expected error that I want to show? In run unit test. Test unit. Again, you can see the DB environment. It's checking. So here, see that no test found. So earlier error or something. You have to create the file. Now, no test found right that means it expects something in the test case or one thing that basic dot spec you can also add basic dot test okay same thing you can see it's automatically changed i no need to reload the reload the server Automatically, taste.ts will be created. And test. Simple test, one plus one. The test name labeling. What should be the output? You have to expect. Expect means you expect to the test that this should come one plus one dot two equal. This was one method that is very useless. Equal, right? Equal two. Now we'll run. You can see the basic file, one file, right? Basic dot taste dot and one 
test case is passed. Now I'll run it to three. Will show you that does not match. So two equal this commonality of this method. Expect that two should be returned. So this is one test. Uh, it said that expect we can dot two equal this method we can add. One same thing, just I will copy and paste and square root. I will add assert dot equal and that is your math dot sqrt square root 4 comma 2 so two test cases passed or you can write in instead of test you can add it same thing Okay. Now, if you want to skip any test case, okay, so Again, other test I will write. I don't want to test it. You can see okay something I have missed I think that should be out now if I'll add it dot skip one skipped two test pass one is skipped so not checked you can write anything. It will not check. It does not showing any error, right? Let's skip. And same thing. If I will just go and write dot only. Only one passed. Two skipped. Now it's showing the two skipped, right? One passed. That means only it will check. If I write anything, it does not check. Only one passed, right?
now i'll create one ps file uh kausik it's look like yes. your screen is freezed my screen not visible visible but it's freezed no just a minute A screen a screen is showing. Can you please confirm the same? Uh, yes, yes, goes. Yes, it will. Yes, be. yes, we should know. Okay. Uh, now I create one one file, and from this file I'll input this thing. Okay. Then write normal function. In return, don't do that. I want to import. We'll add this thing test adding to numbers. Then right one comma two. Hello, any questions? No question. No. No. Okay. okay. Dot two B. A dot sorry to equal is equal. Mm-hmm. 
I think two equal not exist till ten one minute. You know, you have written the two equal inside the parentheses of expect. I think it is. It should be the out. Uh, uh, no, 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 this one, this, this one, this yeah. one, I think. Yes. Be true. Yes, yes, yes. That I do. Yes, to be. Because I added inside this thing. That's so. Uh, yeah. So this value also be checked. I think we have to remove only. Yes, yes. Because it will only check this one. And to equal, I think, yes. Or just focused here only. Yeah. So you can see that different files we can also import and also add, and different different function you can add, and then you can test with these things. Now, one thing that is different UI, right? I want to see what I have to do. Uh, go there and add this value ui vi test ui CMD NPM run UI. VI test UI is going to install. Yes. Go to add. Run the UI. Yeah. 
So we'll see this different dashboard are showing, right? And also see the graph like different function. If you add different, it will be added. If we change anything, it will also reflect in the file. Change it, you can also test from there and also you can go and uh, yes, you can see 331 is coming. So this UI also related. Any test you can add, you can add multiple files like. Uh, I have create one file that is data.json. The JSON file we also check. Like in the JSON file, if we will add ID one value, I'll create title. This is Angular test view. In title, you can add category. Angular, you can description. This is that. Will be the same the kind of description you can add in views. Two, three, three. Key data I can add to React app. We use that. Now I'll create JSON testing different file. Dot ts. To copy it to this file and it and also import for data from data JSON. Now I have created forms num items. 
equal to data dot length i can create now describe get recent testing hello you can add test first have to check how many data are coming number of items number of items should be equal to how much two or three i made it right comma effect num items dot to equal that should be three items we have added What I added? Test it. Yeah. Now you can see two files are created: JSON, speed and basic structure. If I will change anything, well, JSON speak dot test that will be two item. It is so wrong, and one test like con data set. Is equal to data zero dot title. One line item I will add data two is equal to angular react and that is view next test that is l is i'm going to search on one text and js in this title Can expect data set not to match. Yes, class. If case is present, the first item right. So Angular case testing. If I will add. And it will search. Go there. 
no path right otherwise it will show error and title This property is present or not, we can also check the title property is present or not. That also we can check. So here we can add data zero instead of two match dot to have to have property that is title In the title, if title property is there, then also it will pass the test. Go there. Yes, so three passed. And one test case that I will add it test. The first course have property views is value. These two things I want to check views and is value. Views and value is two, three, three. Any value you can check. To go and copy the views. Views. This one. This reason. You can see the press H to show help. You can also press H and a couple of comments are coming. Right. If you want to run the all test, press A. It will rerun all the test. Press H. Only if you want to rerun the failed test, F. So there is no failed test. You can show. So these values also showing. And one array of content I can test it. Copy it. Of course, contents, Angular, and React, just from the array. Uh, let array container 
गंडू एंगुलर मजियट व्यू एंड एक्सपेक्ट और एरे कंटेनर एरे कंटेनर डॉट टू इक्वल डॉट टू इक्वल एक्सपेक्ट डॉट एरे कंटेनिंग एट डेटा You will show that array containing this value, right? Uh, expect Angular React and view also be there. So view is there in the test. We'll add. You can okay. You can need to run this thing. Uh, yes, so all the tests have passed. Also, run that is your package.json UI. NP run UI. npm py automatically go now you can see two test cases are showing right and click that this is the test json testing this is the label and basic test this all the level so in the dashboard we can also control these things like json is connecting in the json spec this file and in the basic test the basic operation the, this is the external file that will add it in this module so it's a graphical format any questions Uh, Kosi, can you uh, explain more on module graph? How can we control module module graph? Right, this one. Na? So module yes. graph, you can see that operation dot ts. I have taken the different file, right? So in the basic dot uh, test dot ts. Yes, sir. This is associated with. Okay, in the operation dot ts I have created that. I will create one another file so it will also go dot ts. Okay, the operation ts just copy this thing. Operation one just paste and instead of minus d, you can do the JSON in the basic test is associated. So math operation num so I change because the one math operation one and the JSON speak and basic you have to import this value from 
dot operation one and this value we will take only subdivision or minus yeah. four minus two that could be the two and that should be math operation one what will happen we will go and rerun the test you can see two file associated na? graph is changing understood right okay so yes. whatever the file is associated it will automatically linked connected in the ts file so two function two external module i have added now nah, here yeah. so it will showing the two external module And also IDE, you can yes, check it. one thing that ID itself. Yes. So one thing you can also do in the marketplace. So the marketplace link. Uh, so the marketplace link extension is you can see why it is. Test VI test. VST. Should be installed over there. Extension. What happened? Credit in bill. Showing their so saw in the marketplace this link is latest you can uh, install and you can run from here itself. Uh, okay, like it shows yeah. the how, how the files are associated with the test file, right? Yes, yes you can uh, saw this one I uh, not found, but Okay, no worries. And the second thing, uh, uh, I'm I'm a little bit confused. Like the expect you have used on line number seven, expect, and the second thing, sr dot equal. So when I have to use expect, expect, and uh, when I have to use sr dot equal. So it, here only taste only as checking. Okay, taste dot only. So. Anything, any value you can check, it should not be considered. This this value 
if i will write test dot only here so only this value is showing so dot two equal always come with the expect okay if you add the expect thing and then dot two equal this value is coming okay okay like password dot equal and uh no, two thing uh, it, it working like same like expect and password dot equal so what's a bit confused like when to use assert and when okay. to use expect okay can you please mute someone uh, yes, yes, yes. actually i want to ask you what like when i have to use expect and when to go with assert dot equal okay, okay, right. uh, so assert value and that expect if you want to dot to equal now this uh, if you some kind of mathematical expression over there right or some kind of nested mm -hmm. expression over there then you can also use the assert so asserts mean that as uh, the way to verify that the expected result and the actual result we are matching okay this kind of asset equality if else the same at cartena if else condition or if condition this yes. is the thing as a ticket yes okay yes. okay okay and that is the expect you are expecting here i am not expect i am condition if else right okay got it this two methods yes, that it. is actual and expected. this two things so as for the use case it will be showing but for the uh, the user user perspective that um, you can use the asset as is more acceptable okay. if you condition like that and you're expecting but you're not check you're expecting and you're checking right this thing so okay so tomorrow we can connect for that and i'll show this marketplace and api test case also hmm. Hello. Okay, and other uh, other also that uh, you have create your different files and you can launch like I have created these modules, right? So the bundle, how can bundle the React application that I will show more. Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Any, any questions or otherwise we can drop. No question. No, yeah, no. we are good. Okay, we can drop that. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.